think we can call this one job done. Woo woo. Right, welcome back party people. Ever wondered how uncomfortable it is sleeping in a bed that may be kind of tilted from side to side or even tilted from front to back? It's not that comfortable, so it's always good to have some kind of indication of how level your van camper is, especially if you're gonna sleep in it. I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to actually give you some indication of how level your van bed is. And we're gonna put that indicator up front near the driver's area so when I'm actually parking the van at a campsite, I get a good indication of how level the van bed is from side to side and from front to back. Now, I don't need it to be 100% accurate, so I'm just gonna use a standard masonry level or standard bubble level across the bed, and we'll do it two different ways, but uh, we're just gonna use these. You can grab these small bubble gauges at your local chain store or hardware store, and uh, we're gonna use two of these to indicate how well we're doing. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is try to choose a spot that's uh, easy to kind of train your eye on so I think maybe from side to side I'll just double sided tape this particular gauge on and then I haven't quite figured out front to back yet but maybe on the base of the seat down here because that's pretty easy to train my eye over there as I'm actually moving the van around so the way we're going to do this is we're going to use a standard kind of carpenters uh, and masonry level once we get the uh, the bubble centered in the level in the back, then I'll just stick these on up front, get the bubble in the center, and that should give me some indication of how level the bed is in the back. Now, it's not going to be 100% accurate, but it'll be close enough from what I need. And typically, you know, within a few degrees, you really can't tell much difference, but... Uh, All right, I'll show you what we have here. So, I just have these, uh, I have two 2 by 3s cut. And I just have them wedged in between the bed here. One is just to kind of lift the level up and the other is to kind of keep the level from falling back as I drive around. So our goal is to center this bubble up in the middle there. And once we have that centered, then we can actually apply one of our bubble gauges here and get it centered. And that should give us an indication up front about how level the bed is from side to side. All right, so the other thing I'll be riding around with is some isopropyl alcohol and a very, very fine, worn down, super, super worn down piece of emery paper that uh, I may use to roughen up any surfaces in order to get a good adhesion on the double-sided tape on the back of the bubble levels and just a cloth there to kind of wipe things down. All right, let's give it a shot. We're going to be peeking back there. So the other thing I'm gonna do is use my iPhone here with the zoom on it. If you've got a good camera with a good zoom on it, you can just kind of point it back there and you can actually magnify the bubble on the level. That way you don't have to walk from front to back or front to back if you don't have somebody back there telling you um, where the bubble's at. So let's try that. All right, so now it's just kind of a matter of driving around and finding some level ground. So if we look at our bubble back there and get it centered up, um, you can use a couple of tools to help you out. If you don't have anybody back there, if you have a phone that has a good zoom on it, you can actually just point it back, take a picture, and then zoom in and see where it's at. Or you can also use your rear view mirror, and you can use a combination of your camera in the rear view mirror and zoom in on your camera, and you can actually tell what's going on in the bubble back there. All right, so I think I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna clean this up with some isopropyl alcohol, and then roughen it up just a little bit where the two-sided tape's gonna go. Isopropyl. I'm going to give that just a minute to evaporate completely. And like I said, I'm just going to rough up a very small piece. And I'm just going to tear off a little small piece of this. And this is basically like, it's less abrasive than a Brillo pad at this moment. Just enough to kind of put some minor scratches on the surface. All right. So we've got very finely roughed up surface there. And uh, I'm just going to peel this two-sided tape. This is 3M two-sided tape. I'm just going to peel it off center to bubble up and we should be good. 
a good press. All right, so we've got a centered bubble there, which matches our centered bubble in the back there. So now we have an indication in the front that lets us know about how level our bed is from side to side in the back. Now we're going to go do the same thing, but for front to back level. And that one's going to be a little bit more difficult because I won't be able to see the level. So I might have to enlist a friend or I might have to set up a camera back there. One of the two. All right, now we have our level set so we can read front to back. So as you can see right now, the front end needs to come up quite a bit. So uh, we're going to try to get the front end raised a little bit and uh, we'll uh, place our uh, bubble level. All right, I'm just kind of using this hill outside to do this. You can use your leveling blocks or ramps or whatever you want to make this easy on you. But uh, so here's currently where we're at on the back to front level. So we've got a bubble that is pretty much in the center there. And so what we'll do now is find us a place to stick our bubble level up front. A little bit of alcohol. Wipe off all the grease and oils. Try to put it somewhere where people's feet won't knock it off as well. Right. Let's get our bubble centered. All right, so that's our bubble centered up on the seat base there. All right, I think we can call this one job done. Woo woo. All right, that'll do it for this video. You know what to do. Till next time, skill up and ride, van up and go.